What's up guys, this is Foden here. Now this tutorial is, it's not really a tutorial, it's just going to be a breakdown video, shall I say. Um, I got used to saying tutorial, but um, yeah, this video is a breakdown of how I made the 3D, that, the first 3D scenes in the Ultimate Team Taj, oh it wasn't Ultimate Team Taj, sorry, um, it was the first shot Team Taj for Team Calibre. So here's a little clip that I'll show, that I'm, well, I'm going to be running through with you. Right, so now we've seen the clip. Um, it was quite hard work getting getting these scenes done because um, it was pretty awkward trying to get the motion tracking and all that done. Um, but I'm going to run through how I actually made them scenes um, because if you come across, a, say, a time when you're trying to do animation and the the the, the, the background scene is not fitting the way you want it. Like, how I done mine. Um, I'm going to show you the. Uh, well, let me open it all up first. So, Team Calibre is oh, Team Tower. Well, it's the first shot Team Towers. <clears throat> and cinematics. I put all my cinematics into a folder. So, the first one, um, we'll do the spin scene because that was the first one. And the most hardest one to do. So, where is it? Ah. Uh, Sync spin scene. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Um, so where's the? Okay. So here's the cinematic that I used. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get the helicopter, like a view from the inside of the helicopter of the, like the scenery spin around to make it look like the helicopter was spinning around. Now the helicopter wasn't actually spinning. So if I show you this, this is the cinematic that I recorded which went into the video or the animation of Saturday. So now you've seen that, I'll open up my helicopter scene. And as you can see, here's the animation with the lights animating and keeping it all lightened up and shit. And then he takes the, the fuselage off off the helicopter as he hits it <laughs> and then I add some water in that in After Effects which I'll come to so I've got if I take the light uh, the camera off oh no the camera's there isn't it? so yeah as we can see we got the camera moving we got the guy sitting in front of him animating we got the guy here who's getting flown out and then smacks it so we got all that animated now take the camera off and I turn the lights off just so you can see everything the helicopter is not actually moving at all, it's all camera work. So there was no scenes in this at all, so that's how I done that. I animated it all, boom boom boom, with the light in that. And there we go, just run through that again. And that's all good, so that's how I sort of, the first stage of making this little scene. So I animated it all, what, what you'd kind of want it to look like. Don't worry about the background scene yet at all, that's... That's the one thing I didn't do. I thought, you know, I'm just going to do the animation. I'm just going to leave the like the background till last, which isn't a good thing at all, actually, because if you do the whole animation and find out you can't get a background to it, you're buggered. So that's a bit of a waste of time. So, but if you really want to, you can. I mean, for me, I just tested it and it worked. Um, so now we've got all this down. I rendered it through, and we now need to go to After Effects. Now hopefully, oh shit, I think I deleted the file actually, shit, bugger, um, well we'll see in a minute, cinematics, helicopter spin scene, I've got it, goodies, so now I'll open that up, current and team caliber, cinematics and helicopter spin scene. One final missing, which is the preview caps lock. So I just take that off. All right, so it's all pre comped together. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all the effects and just show background. Nope, I can't do that yet. Just this scene. So if I check on this, I've added a glow for some reason. Oh, I know why. Because um, it's the outline. 
if I take the glow off, it looks all sort of like, I don't know how to explain it, it doesn't look right. You need it sort of fading into the cinematic. So I added the glow just to add some like little black, black edges around, which sort of made it blend a little bit better. So, so that's what I added in that part. So I place this into Cinema 4D. If I go to U, uh, After Effects, sorry, not Cinema 4D. Okay, so that's just the base, the base of it. I do not touch, sorry, this scene at all. So that was running through, that was just the 3D with the alpha channel. And then what I've done is I brought in the background. But if I now turn everything off and just show you what I've done, it looks hideous without everything else. And I'll just let that run through and then I'll show you. But you I this was hell. Trying to get this per like as good as I can. Um, because like I said, I I left it with the background all to the last minute, so I had to do it this way and I had to sort of perfect it as much as I can and luckily it turned out fine. <laughs> so Sorry, I'm just drinking uh, Pepsi Max. And then I added some Twixter, as you can see now. Um, which is where the guy will be coming, like, flying out of the helicopter. He slows down and he hits the fuselage. So this is that point. Obviously, you'll see it once the, um, the actual animation bit's turned on. But this was, I don't think this was motion tracked at all. Oh, yeah, I think it was, yeah. What I've done is, I did motion track it. I motion tracked this part, so the fuselage. I motion tracked this part of the animation, so as you can see, that always follows the fuselage. So it sort of keeps like it sort of keeps the background, which is the background, which is this. It keeps that in a relatively same position. But what I had to do is, as I went through, I don't know how, if I just delete all this now and then I leave it this is this is what I started off with I motion tracked it and this is what I got and as you can see as I keep scrolling through it stays there and reveals black parts so what I had to do is I had to keep like positioning it so keep moving it down and that so if I just put those keyframes back on so I sort of I looked at this, yeah it looks right. I scrolled forward a bit and thought oh that doesn't look right so I had to move this down as you can see and then as I moved it across so basically I just made sure there was no black bits and once I've done all that and it they were like it sort of looked alright, no black like no black bits were showing um, and all the twixter was done I then pre-comped it and I added a camera shake and that sort of blended it in a bit more so um, if I now render that and I added a, a motion tile because if I don't have the motion tile when the camera shake was going on it reveals black black bits at the top so having the motion tile will um, basically flips it so where the black is it just repeats the, the image as like a symmetry type thing but what you do is you just check mirror edges and then you bring up the output width and height and make sure that's on top of your slider control uh, I don't think it works if it's behind, uh, I'm not sure uh, yeah it does but sometimes the motion tiles need to be right at the, right at the top in order for things to work because if you put some effect over the top of the motion tile it won't work the motion tile needs to be sort of the first thing that After Effects reads and then all the effects come after it if that makes sense So. Um, yeah, once that was all done, it sort of looked like it was getting there. I thought I was going to leave it at that, but then I thought, nah, I've got to do some effects. I've got to do smoke. The bloody thing's on fire. You know, and that guy hits a fuselage, so there's got to be a little bit of fuel fuel spill. Um, so if I go back into the pre comp, I added the smoke throughout the whole helicopter bit, and I obviously had masked the guy out because obviously the smoke will just be overlying him so I thought that didn't look right so I just masked roughly masked him out with some feather and then I had a dark smoke which was coming from the wing because obviously um, 
actually I don't know why I added that, I just thought, oh that looked good. <laughs> so I added the black smoke on the wing. And again, I think I motion tracked that, I'm not sure. Yep. Uh, the f fire? Oh no, hang on a minute. Yeah, look. If I select those three and that. Where it says parent, underneath here, it says 7.01. Each one with those are motion tracked to the scene, which is what I showed you earlier. It's motion tracked to this fuselage. So, now I'll keep that on just, just so it helps actually. Um, so, each one of these are motion tracked to... Oh, I understand that. why now. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, sorry, I was just trying to think in my head what, what why I put the smoke there, but... I realise now it's because I put fire onto onto the wing, and with fire comes smoke, especially dark smoke. So <laughs> it's it's weird going through it because you end up forgetting, and then everything comes together in the end. It's a bit annoying, but yeah, I added the dark smoke, and I I think I originally added the fire, and I motion tracked that with the null because that was near the fuselage, so that was all good. And then I added the dark smoke after, and I thought, well. I'm not going to just motion, uh, like parent that to the motion track again. I'm just going to parent that to the fire. Because wherever the smoke is, the fire is going to be. So for dead on accurate results, I just I put this onto the fire one. The dark smoke is parented to the fire one. So wherever the fire goes, the smoke will go with it. And, and that's why I put the smoke there. <laughs> I got there in the end. Um, and then the welding. I think that was the sparks, actually. Oh, here it is. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this is when he first hits the fuselage. So as I scroll forward, what do I do? Opacity, so it comes about here. There we go. You can see the sparks fly off. And I sort of roughly masked out sort of the bit where the, like, the fuselage is attached onto because the sparks will be coming off, obviously underneath. Um, because you've got the camera shake and it's all going so quick, I don't think you really realise how bad of a, a mask that is, but that's the thing. I'm not going to spend ages doing all the same when you could do it slowly and it still look fine. Like do it shit and it still look fine. Excuse my language. I don't think that's even allowed for YouTube. Um, I can't help it. I uh, it's just the way I talk. Actually, I try not to <laughs> try not to swear. But, um, yeah. So now we got the welding on. I needed water or well, it was. F I needed fuel coming out of the. Um, the fuselage because obviously like hydraulic shit and that or whatever. Um, so I thought water was a good thing to use because it is pretty much looks exactly the same. And then I just done a little water splash which I motion um, I parented that to the motion track. So that stayed with the fuselage as well because obviously during the animation there's a lot of camera movement. So um, that's that's why. And then debris. I added some debris. Um, which is back all the way back here. Let me just hide everything else off apart from the animation and scene. You can see the debris flying out of the heli helicopter because obviously if things are breaking off, things will be flying around. And I thought, well, it looks pretty crap with just smoke and fire. If I just turn everything off, it looks all right. Then you know, I think. But in order to get the better feel, you need to add debris or debris. I think you do anyway, especially when you're looking straight into the helicopter and everything's flying out. I think that just makes it a little bit more realistic in a way. So that is how I made my scene. The other thing, the other scene was um, the crash scene, and obviously I've got a, a crash cinematic, which uh, is down here. Sorry, helicopter crash scene. Um, I got. Good friend of mine, Cos Kostoff, he um, motion tracked the scene for me because I didn't have a clue how to do it. <laughs> I thought I looked at it and I thought, shit, this ain't gonna work. But I'll wait for this to come up now because it's taken ages. Here we go. So if I turn the helicopter off and no, just that. That's all good. Uh, you can see there's the motion track thing, and this thing here is what generates the smoke. Uh, if I take the bring the helicopter up, it's this thing here. I added uh, smoke, 
with the helicopter so it looked like it was coming down with like fire and shit so I had the helicopter come crashing down no presets at all as you can see here you can clearly see the helicopter comes down crashes and slides along the floor and then obviously other things were done in After Effects which I'm gonna quickly show you and then I'm gonna end this video because the recording will fuck up oh sorry will mess up um, <laughs> just, I just realized I saw then when I, after I said it but it'll be the head of crash scene also hopefully this won't what are we at good uh, time elapsed nope that's all good that should work still got another minute or two I think so we're gonna turn that to half no I need that full really don't I um, I had the the helicopter smoke come down let me open this up that's all fine it's when everything hit I had to obviously mask this lamp post out as well so the helicopter comes behind it not in front of it and then as it hit I added sparks fire some like cement debris and some dirt because obviously when you hit the ground it's look at that but you didn't even notice that look how poor that was that was done that's just that was it just added some sparks added some like dust elements some explosions and a nice like explosion in the background which I needed to mask out sort of where is it the fireball I masked out the helicopter so it looked like the helicopter was sort of coming through the fire or is the, the fire would just be overlapping the whole thing and I thought no, that shit so yeah, you got the, the concrete obviously falling um falling down here with little shadows so that was even better and it just looks like the whole thing it doesn't look good now but once it it had the camera shakes and that, I, obviously I had a slider control again and the color correction and it was really quick you don't actually see it but that's the thing people you might look at it and you think oh he didn't do that very well but just look at the overall thing anybody who watched that first time did not notice anything about how crap this was put together it's just how it looks at the end that's that's well that's that's how I work um, there's no point making or spending shit loads of time trying to perfect something which is going to look exactly the same pretty much so yeah and that's how I done it and obviously didn't need no motion track well I think I did need a motion track for this actually yeah I did motion track these I motion tracked the helicopter coming down and I had all these apart from the fireball all these were tracked to the helicopter so they followed it along so yeah that's how I made these two scenes guys um, hope you like this video like comment if you haven't checked out the montage yet go check it out if it's not on my channel by the time I upload it it will be on Team Caliber channel go check either one out um, you can find Team Caliber's channel in my like little sub box on my channel um, or it's just youtube.com forward slash clan caliber so please subscribe to them if you can do, do everything I've just said like comment my video their video everything just <laughs> that will be a big help for all of us um, and I'll see you in the next video guys peace